Praise be to God, the Cherisher and Sustainer of the worlds, most gracious, most merciful, Master of the Day of Judgment. Thou do we worship, and thy aid we seek. Show us the straight way, the way of, the way of those on whom thou have bestowed thy grace, those whose portion is not wrath, and who go not astray. This was the opening, uh, the opening scripture in the Quran. On behalf of the Muslim Student Association at LSU and uh, the Islamic Center of Baton Rouge, I would like to welcome you to our lecture tonight. The, we feel that as students here at LSU that uh, tonight's, tonight's lecture on <coughs> which will be entitled in response to Brother Swaggart, Muhammad, peace be upon him, in the Bible. This will be the topic of tonight's lecture. We appreciate your presence here, and before we go ahead and start our event tonight, I'd like to briefly describe some things about our speaker tonight. He is a scholar in comparative religion, as well as the director of the Islamic Propagation Center in Durban, um, South Africa. He has been involved in the, with the Muslim community for a long time. He is also the author of several publications, among which are Christ in Islam, Is the Bible God's Word, What the Bible Says About Muhammad, Peace Be Upon Him, Islam's Answer to the Racial Problem, and Al Quran, The Ultimate Miracle. So please welcome Brother. Ahmed Didad for our lecture, our speaker for tonight's lecture. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani r-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Qul ara'aytum in kana min indi Allah wa kafartum bihi wa shahida shahidun min bani Israel ala mithlihi. فَآمَنَ وَاسْتَكْبَرْتُمْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَهْدِ الْقَوْمَ الظَّالِمِينَ صدق الله صدق الله الرزيم Mr. Chairman and my dear brothers and sisters the subject for this evening is in response to brother Swagart in response to brother Swagart Muhammad peace be upon him in the Bible in response to Brother Swagart last night, at question time, somebody posed a question to him, where he was asked whether there was any mention of Muhammad وسلم, in the Christian Bible. And Brother Swagart, according to his understanding, knowledge, he said, Most every religion tries to find the Bible and somewhere in their teachings and their beliefs and so does the Quran it tries to say that it is mentioned in the Bible or Mohammed is mentioned in the Bible but uh, Mohammed is not mentioned in the Old Testament he said no there is nothing in the Bible about Muhammad now the format as it was if you were there last night was that questions were put to one speaker at a time 
want to do that, want to swag out, want to do that, want to swag out. And they had to respond to those questions. It was not there at question time a debate between swag out and did that. Can you see? So I couldn't say, excuse me, you know, he says, look, there is something there and start debating with him on the point. That was not the occasion. However, I am now responding to that question, to Brother Swagat's statement that there is nothing in the Bible about Muhammad. Now, if I had the opportunity then, of course, the audience, you know, a greater audience than tonight, but since this is being recorded, I'm sure it will reach Brother Swagat. I have uh, met a brother from his ministry, from his college, and I hope and pray that he will take my message to him. I love and admire Brother Swagat and his wife, Frances. I met this couple before the actual, you know, meeting, actual debate, and I enjoyed their company, and they seem to have enjoyed mine. Marvelous people, you know, charming people. And I was telling somebody this morning that if charm can convert, charm, charm. I said, I would be a Christian. I would have been converted. But you see, the charm is there. But I say, the theology is not right. You know, his understanding, concept of God is not right. But charming people. I pay tribute to Brother Swagat and his wife. Now, I have dealt with this topic before. And initially, when I started talking about the subject of what the Bible says about Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I didn't know at the beginning and for a very long time I didn't know that the Holy Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was mentioned by name in the Bible. <coughs> mentioned by name. Lord and men will say, look where? Brother Swagat has been through the Bible as he says countless number of times. Certain verses he's mentioning in his books, he's read it countless number of times. I have read the Bible through many, many, many times. And others such as I have read it many more times, much more educated than I could ever be, understanding both Hebrew and Greek. And with this countless number of reading, the man doesn't see it. How can that be? I said, you see, what has happened is this. First, that Muhammad is mentioned by name in the original scriptures. The Old Testament, according to Christian authorities, was preserved in the Hebrew language. And the New Testament in Greek scriptures, Greek language. In the Old Testament, in the Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16, in the Hebrew language, it reads, I'm sure Brother Swagat would appreciate it because I thought I heard him say that he knows Hebrew and he knows Greek. In the Hebrew language, it says, Hikko mamittakim vi kullo muhammadim zehdudi vi zehrei bainat Jerusalem. Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16. The word muhammadim is muhammad im. Im, I am Im. Im is a plural of respect in Hebrew. You see the first verse of the Bible, book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 1. It says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The word God in Hebrew there is Elohim. In Hebrew, El, El stands for God. Ella stands for God. Elohim is a plural form to say with all respect and reverence. Plural of respect. In all Eastern languages, including Arabic and Hebrew, there are two types of plurals. In my own mother tongue, we have plural of respect as well as of numbers. In Urdu, plural of respect as well as numbers. You see, in the Quran also we find the very same thing. Like the verse Allah says, Inna nahnu nazzalna dhikra wa inna lahu lahafizun. That it is for us to send down the revelation and it is for us to protect it. 
Who is this as? Ask any Muslim. Who is this as? Is Allah, Jibreel and Muhammad like Father, Son and Holy Ghost? No, no. But is as, who is as? When we are told in the Holy Quran, Qul huwa Allahu ahad, say he is Allah the one and only. Here he's talking about as. No Arab Christian has ever asked the Muslim, I said the Arab Christian, has ever asked the Muslim, who is this as? Because he knows in his language, there are two types of plurals, plural of numbers and plural of respect.